What's happening everybody, ladies and gentlemen, and to all of my LC in the world, I'm Cheeto2500. Everybody may know me, but in case you don't, now you know. <laughs> Welcome back to Custom Critiques. Now I know I haven't done this in a while though, but to catch you all up, Custom Critiques is the knowledge and experience that I will share with you though. Note that these critiques are all opinionated and should not be taken seriously. You can either agree with me or disagree with me. This segment is exclusively saying it's up to you. Now that that's out of the way though, here comes today's segment. Recently, this particular YouTuber who, in my opinion, is known as the biggest hater or troll in history during his creation five years ago, his name is Dylan Henderson, also known as Dylan the Hacker. Now, let me show you who Dylan the Hacker looks like just to save you the trouble. There you go. So he created his channel five years ago, but Dylan was mentioned even before his creation. Now, the reason why I am doing this particular segment on him is not only did he capture my attention, and of course, the attention of the biggest YouTuber in history before T-Series took over and made themselves number one, but also the fact that I have heard that he recently passed. Well, I'm not quite sure that he did pass because I have like researched every single article that pertains to him though, but if you do a Google search on him today, as of right now, this is what pops up. Yeah, and if you look at those two at the very, very bottom, most of the searches say that Dylan the Hacker dead, is it rumored? I don't know. But what I do know is that PewDiePie himself has talked with Dylan's family, maybe conversed them on the side, and then offers his condolences to their... So, through PewDiePie, the whole world knows that Dylan is dead. That's the thing. But now that the uh, backstory is out of the way, though, let's get on with the actual critique, though. And, of course, um, Dylan, may you rest in peace, though. And, guys, to be honest, just let him go. There's nothing more he can do now. Let's be honest, all right? So, going on to the pros of this, though, the biggest thing I like about Dylan is that he's extremely bold and extremely brave for doing this though. I mean, he even fooled me the first time though. I had no idea that it was satirical until I read some of you guys' comments about some of his videos. And I watched plenty of his videos enough to know that he w was satirical at the end though. And the biggest reason why I say that is because for a name like Dylan the Hacker, most hackers don't show their face. He does. But yet, the biggest problem that I don't like about him is that he's extreme. He really is extreme. And his thumbnails are, well, extreme in that matter, of course, though. Like, if you put up an example, hmm, let's say Markiplier, right, when he was signing his autograph, and then the bubble was like, fuck off, kid, that sort of thing. It kind of makes it look like Markiplier is, you know, mean in real life, that sort of thing. But that was before I knew that he was being satirical about all this. Let's get that straight. So, what I think about Dylan is that, um, you know, he, I could pretty much tell that he gets a lot of hatred during outside of YouTube, of course, though. I mean, we all know who he is. We've seen his face. And then looking into his shoes, though, he probably has a lot of hatred in his hometown, though. The, we even know where he is, where he lives at. So that's even worse. So he probably knew that he was going to get a lot of hate from you guys. But he also probably knew that, that this was going to be the inevitable end. Now, I am also not sure if he meant it. Or if he was being joking about it, though. But it couldn't go either way, though. So I guess another thing that I didn't like about him was maybe it's the fact that 
it, there's not enough information to show on his channel that he was being satirical in the first place. We just take it at face value and assume that he's serious. That was the thing. So, therefore, I wasn't clear on his attentions, though. And yet, what I do like about him, and this is another pro, is that, is that his claims are ambitious. He has a huge ambition. I mean, he's really set on his goals. But yet, the, but yet what I think about it, though, his goals aren't that big enough. He talks a good game. I'll admit that. He really does. But yet his game isn't strong enough to act upon it. Because he knows very well that 90% of you guys will get him and ring him on his neck. On a tight noose. That's the truth. It really is though. But yet... I am also pretty sure that the few of you among those 90% took it to the extreme. And yet one of you did though, because in one of the news articles that I've read before, I mean, you could look that up yourselves in the description or whatever. They say that the guy named Derek has reportedly hacked his channel and of course terminated Dylan's channel as a result though. And according to my research, Dylan got terminated twice. And the only reason why he got reinstated is because PewDiePie helped him. Which, which kind of contradicts what Dylan said about PewDiePie before, PewDiePie sucks, this and that, blah, 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 blah. But yet, I think when Dylan went to England, though, he kind of misinterpreted that PewDiePie was, you know, more interested in feuding his love with Martia, which, uh, which, by the way, they're married. Congratulations to them, so good luck to you both. But, um... Is just that PewDiePie has billions and millions and millions of fans though. Is that everyone knows that celebrities don't have the time or the patience to spend one-on-one -on -one time with each and every one of them. They're a lot busy too though. PewDiePie got his career making videos and of course making money off of them, yes. So do other YouTubers like Jacksepticeye or Markiplier or Vanus who also do this for a living too. So, Dylan has to understand, and this is another con that's coming in, he has to understand that with big names like that, though, you know, they can't make time. It's like Dylan wants to be the center of attention for himself, which he accomplished, which he did. Even though there are so many dislikes on his videos, thanks to you guys, though, and even though I don't know Dylan personally, nor am a sponsor to him, no, I don't claim any of that, though. It's just that Dylan garnered a lot of attention to the point where it becomes so dangerous. And, of course, risky to continue. But yet, despite all that, though, like I said, though, he continued his rant. He continued his bashing, his insults, his threats. Unknowingly, that unknowingly that some of us, maybe a few of us, will take it serious enough to a point where we attack him personally. So... I'm gonna move on to his death, though. Because I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are pretty much caught up to what Dylan has done in the past, though. So... I'm not really actually sure if I should believe the news articles at face value, though. Because his family himself has not released details of this yet, though. Even though, like I said before, PewDiePie talked to them, but we don't know that for sure. I mean, there's no, you know, news about it. There's no forensics. There's, there's none of that CSI stuff about it, though. But if I had to theorize one thing, though, and this is only a theory, though. I would say that his death was caused by suicide. I think he took his own life. Because in the reality, though, I didn't think I think Dylan's sanity was starting to get lowered and lowered and lowered up to a point where he couldn't take it anymore. I mean, let's be honest. We most of us hated him for this, though, even if it's satirical, though. But yet the only time that we seem to care is when he passed. And yet I've noticed that every single time when somebody else passed, too. Because we all know that death is not a funny thing. It's a very, very serious topic. 
So, Dylan, if you are truly past, though, or if you're just messing with us, though, whatever the case may be, though, either stop joking around and just reveal yourself, but it, but if I'm wrong, though, if I am wrong, that if you truly did pass, though, may my, may my heart go out to you and your family, and let me be the first to say you are the bravest person I know, one of the bravest who even garnered the attention of PewDiePie himself. That's strictly amazing. Let me give you a round of applause for that one. You are truly an amazing person, sir. Okay. Time for the final verdict. I know you all been waiting for this though, and I know that some of you have bigger and better things to do than just to watch me rant on and on about Dylan. But, um, based on the research, based on his content, based on, you know, his actions and stuff, so I'm going to have to give Dylan a three out of five stars. Now, the only reason why I give him a three out of five stars instead of a four or five is because, you know, he wasn't informative enough he wasn't specific enough that it was satirical he could have mentioned before it was satirical and then we would have been like okay his rants don't mean anything this and that okay he's just doing this for fun but because he never mentioned his satiricalness in the first place we all took it at face value and assumed what he said was true that was it but yet the reason why I, gave, I didn't give him a one star or two star is because of his bravery and him is an ambition he was ambitious enough to make all these claims, but yet not enough to act upon them. So that's why I gave him a three in the first place, though. So if you all agree, though, be sure to leave a like, comment, or even subscribe to this for more, you know, custom critiques and everything. But like I said before, everything's opinionated. Everything is strictly based on my own knowledge, okay? So if you agree or disagree, do whatever you want. But until then, this has been Cheeto2500. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And of course, you know, let the man go. That's all I have to say. I mean, Dylan can't do more in the afterlife. That's pretty much it. But until then, stay tuned. And if you guys know the status of Dylan, please do let me know. I am really, really curious. So, um, thank you all. And please do have a great and safe day.